Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to put together this piranha plant sugar cookie from the Super Mario Brothers video game. So let's get started. Alright guys, so here are the few things that I will be using. I got this uh, fire flower cookie cutter uh, from Etsy and I'm going to be using just the bottom part and I will show you in the video how I'm going to be doing that. I'm using also a 2 inch round uh, cookie cutter. You will be needing a knife to cut off a triangle shape off the round uh, cookie dough, kind of like a pizza slice, and you'll end up with like a Pac-Man shape, and that will be attached to this bottom part, and I will show you that in a minute. I will be needing some white royal icing, and some black, kind of green, and black food coloring for the rest of the icing. Alright guys, so let's get started. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how... To make a piranha plant out of your uh, fire flower cookie cutter. Now you can go ahead and order the the piranha plant, but I just thought I could just make it at home and just save me some money, and um, I don't have to buy two of them when I could just make it at home. So uh, I already cut it out, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim just the top part there very easily. That's going to come off. I'm not going to be needing that. And then with just a round cookie cutter, I'm going to just cut out a circle. And then I'm going to cut out like a Pac-Man shape. So I'm going to try to find my center there and then just trim like a slice of pizza. Like that. I know this is just time consuming and a little more work. So if you want to just go ahead and purchase the, the piranha plant, um, you can go ahead and do so. It'll save you a lot of time. I had just ordered quite a few cookie cutters from her and it was just getting costly. So I just uh, figured I can just do that at home and save me some money. So I'm going to go ahead now and um, put these together on my cookie sheet and I will show you how that will look. Alright guys, as you see there, I put it together. I put one of them together and here's the one I just cut. So I have the piece at the bottom and then I just put that piece on top and you just pat it there and it will um, come together once it bakes. Okay guys, so they're nice and baked already. Uh, it just saves me some money instead of having to buy two different cookie cutters. I just buy one and I can get two or multiple cookie shapes out of one. So now we're going to go ahead and ice the top. I already started on one here. And very, very easy, just get your red icing. I have a number two tip. Just going to fill that in. And like I mentioned in my other video, that I am going to try not to um, speed up my videos like I was doing because my editing program is failing me um, so it kind of glitches on me and um, if I speed it up and then when I edit and then I connect it to a next clip or something it will completely eliminate all my audio so I'm gonna have to like kind of work quickly so I don't make the video too long and that way I don't have to edit so much so, cookies this small, I don't have to edit too much because there's not much to fill. So now I'm going to do the rest and I'm going to let that uh, crust a little bit so I can continue on with the bottom. Alright guys, so I let this uh, top here uh, crust a little bit so I can move on to my stem. Now you can do this two ways. You can either do the stem first and then uh, do the leaves or you can do the leaves. So um, we're going to go ahead and fill this in for this one here and very easily just fill in that trunk or that stem and then I'm going to give this a little bit of time to set so I can do the, the leaves. If you wish, you can leave the stem last and do the leaves if you want to kind of move on. So 
So here I'm just going to finish up this other side of the leaf here and the other side and we'll be done with this. Let me kind of move on to the top part because I'm running out of time. So very quickly just do the same as you did to the top. After that, we'll uh, move on to the top part here. We are done with the bottom and it should look like that. So now let's do the top. Alright guys, so we're almost at the finish line here. I did forget to mention a couple things at the beginning. Um, you will be needing to get some heart sprinkles, the white ones. And uh, they come in different varieties. Need some tweezers as well to help uh, stick these little guys into the white icing. Fill in the inside section there just a little. And then very quickly before that icing sets, we're going to pick out four hearts, one at a time. And you're going to stick that in there, push it down, you don't want them to be booked to the teeth. You don't want them sticking up, so go ahead and stick that in there and push it down a little. Push it down and in. And If you can't get a hold of the um, heart shapes or you don't want to go through this extra step, you don't have to. It just gives it like a lot of character and it looks so realistic. Like it's so neat. I really recommend putting those on there. If you can't find them at the store, order them online, just um, like eBay maybe. And then just uh, look for heart shape sprinkles and it should be. They should pop out some like pink and reds and maybe you can find some that are multicolored and just hit that and just uh, get the white ones out and just do what I just did. And I piped a few here that are a little bit larger than the others. Do you see there? Um, some are bigger than the others. Alright guys, um, I believe that is all. I think my time is up. So um, that is all. Alright guys, that is all. I hope you enjoyed this video. This isn't hard at all. It just seems like a lot because I got to go step by step. But when you do these at home, you're going to get through them very, very quickly. As you see, there's only three colors to work with, so not very hard to do. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Thumbs it up. Share the video if you know someone that might like these. And uh, stay tuned for more. I have more Mario themed sugar cookies that I will be posting uh, shortly. And I will talk to you soon. Have a good one, guys.